when we signed up for our Grand Fulbright adventure, we thought we knew what we were in for, but we really didn't. Like if you, if your experience in Malaysia or wherever you were was anything like my experience in Indonesia, like I thought I knew what I was in for, but I didn't have a clue. Like once I was on the ground and having to navigate how to feed myself and how to get around and how to talk to people and how not to make a, a, an ass of myself <laughs> in terms of customs and cultures and things like that. Um, we didn't know, but we, we did the best we could, right? And, and we practiced patience. And I'll never forget what Pooji said to me when she picked me up at the airport um, in Samarang in September. And she said, just be patient and flexible, Jane, patient and flexible. Um, and I, I would say to do that for yourself, like as you've been whiplashed back to the US and you're, um, this is another time, like your return to the US wasn't supposed to be like this. I'm sure if you were anything like me, like you had grand visions of like being welcomed back and like woohoo and everybody's happy and you could, you know, share food and you could, you know, share pictures and ain't nobody got time or headspace for that right now, right? Like everybody's stressed and we have entered back into quarantines and trapped in your basement and you can't do anything. And it's not the time of year you were supposed to come back. So if you thought you were gonna be a teacher, there aren't jobs, like kids aren't even in schools, right? So just be patient with yourself, with others, and know that um, whatever resources got you a Fulbright, will get you other opportunities. Like you're smart, talented, well-educated folks if you got a Fulbright. You also have a network, right? You have a Fulbright network, not only the people here, but other Fulbrighters. I am loving being a part of the Fulbright network and tapping into that. So you now have another network and, and who better than any of us who were Fulbrights during the time of COVID uh, to band together? Like we have a special badge of honor, I think. Um, and so I'm just wishing you all well. And if there's anything that I can do to support your journeys, please reach 